So I really like these um, natural paths that, um, you know, where you can barely tell that it's a trail. <laughs> um, and I have gotten lost before where um, it's not so bad now, but sometimes I can't tell where the trail goes <laughs> because so, ma so few people um, go on it. Um, and I've gotten lost before where I've had to like literally dig my way through bushes, <laughs> like bushwhacking my way. But it's nice because there's just lots of areas in here for them to explore and smell and go. Good, except Tucker. Tucker just, he's like, he's just happy. Just happy being beside Gabby. Hey, Tucker. Good boy, buddy. Yeah, and those guys are gone. Um, so let, usually they check back, so we're just gonna see if they do. And if they don't, then I just call them. Oh, good girl! Good girl! Good boy! And when they do, they get a treat from me. Sit! Good, sit! Good girl! And Penny! 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 Here, sweetie. Uh, uh, no, this is for Penny. No, Roxy. This is for Penny. Good girl. Roxy, this is for you. Sit. And I am just feeding them kibble, but I also do have roast beef. Um, and it's kind of funny because he won't take kibble, but these guys will. Good job. Good girl. Okay, I think that's enough for you for now. Uh-uh, uh, no, no. This is for Penny. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, and I'm going to give them... Whoops. It's supposed to happen. Yeah, nowadays you can flip the camera now. So, okay, so now they're going to get a piece of roast beef. And this is the one that Chewy and everybody likes. There you go. Oh, sit. Sit. Good, sit. Good girl. Oh, sit. Where's uh, Roxy? Where's your sit, sweetie? Good, sit. Good girl. And where's, um, yeah, he's like, oh, if it's kibbles, I do not want it. But he does want the roast beef. Come here, bud. Good boy, sit. Good boy. And if you're wondering why I wear gloves, it's because, A, um, roast beef is kind of, you know, uh, greasy and stuff, so that's partly it, and then partly, um, obviously, just to keep my hands clean. Um, earlier, uh, Roxy had poop, had like loose poop on gravel, and so I was trying to get all of it, and then of course, the gravel just eats through the plastic bag like crazy, and so there was like I'm sure I got some of that poop on my fingers along with some dirt and I'm thoroughly grossed out <laughs> every time that happens and I was supposed to have my gloves on but I didn't I had taken them off for some reason and that experience was a reminder to keep my gloves on yeah so then you know I had to go to the bathroom wash my hand like four times hoping that I'll get rid of all the germs um but yeah I sometimes I like to divulge these um very explicit details to my clients because you know it's kind of funny actually because when I when people see me do my job they're like oh you know I'd love to have your job and they don't realize you know every job has its ups and downs right like I've I've touched poop I'm sure I've been pooped on. <laughs> I don't know about that, but I've been peed on. Um, I've cleaned up lots of throw up and things like that. The fun part is definitely when we're here and the dogs are all behaving. Um, but yeah, it's just funny when people look at anything, look at anybody that has refined their craft and they're like, oh, you know, I'd love to do that. But they don't realize how, much, how many hours have gone in, right? <laughs> like. Like, I'm learning every day with these guys, but I know I know so much more than when I first started.
Good shake out, bud. Good job. And see, so they're done playing and they go and do their own thing. That's awesome. Yeah, I usually let puppies, um, I don't usually take puppies, but these two are fairly young. Um, and I do let them work things out unless it's extremely unfair and one is not practicing good etiquette. Um, but it's a great way for them to learn communication. So when it's too much, they give a little yelp. Um, they, learn to, they learn other ways, like sniffing is... Uh, uh, kind of a cue for the other one to stop uh, just things like that right so yeah but yeah very very active crew today good boy Chewy and it's nice to see all the greens coming out all the green leaves coming out good boy Tucker Good shake, bud. And I don't know if most people know this, but shaking is how they reset their nervous system. Isn't that, like, interesting and amazing? Like, it kind of resets them back to neutral. Like, they're literally shaking it off. Yeah, I was pretty intrigued when I found that out. And then, and, and you know, ever since... I heard that I've been observing them and that's exactly what it is they they basically shake it out to um, to reset their nervous system good job guys Boy Tucker, good job, buddy. Yeah, and Chewy does wander. Uh, these, so these guys are really good. They're not wandering too far off. Chewy does have a bigger uh, comfort range, um, and but he's fine because I can just call him, and then he shows. He shows up. Going, I'm still here. Chewy. Here he comes. Such, such a good pup. Good boy, Chewy. Good boy, buddy. Yeah. Yes, you do deserve something for that, Chewy. Good job, bud. Good job, guys. Yeah, you can you can eat on behalf of Chewy as well. Good. Uh, uh, no, this is Tucker's. No, this is for Tucker. Tucker? Hey, hey, guys, Tucker, Tucker, over here, bud, Tucker, Tucker, Ch -ch Tucker. Yeah, I literally had to, like, put it right in his mouth because these guys are kind of vultures. You're a vulture. Yeah, you're eating everybody else's share. Okay, come on, guys, let's keep going. Good job. Good girl. Yeah, the biggest thing with young pups, I find, is boundaries. Actually, for, for practically any and every dog, right? So if they know boundaries and they can respect them, then they're really learning um, basically to respect um, what we ask of them. So, so if they lack that, I do try to work that on that with them because <laughs> I can't just have dogs kind of, you know, running the place. <laughs> Somebody needs to kind of keep everything together. Um, yeah, so boundaries such as, oh, 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 whoa, whoa, what are you eating, bud? Hey, 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 I don't know why they do this. They eat dirt. Come on, bud. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Oh, my goodness. Jasper did the same thing. It's kind of odd. 
I'm sure there's honestly like lots of uh, nutrients in that dirt. It's like got minerals and you know, like all the, I guess, essential minerals and stuff, but it just seems odd to us. <laughs> Um, yeah, but I was saying like, like boundaries such as um, like waiting for a command instead of like rushing through the door or pushing their way. Um, I've learned I can't have that because I know before there was this gigantic dog and he, you know, as soon as he heard my van door open, he would literally push his way through and it just gets dangerous because... You know, if we're in a parking lot, there are cars moving around and, and if he just rams through there at that speed and gets away with it every time, then to him, basically anytime a dog gets away with doing anything, <laughs> in their mind, that's totally okay. So, yeah, something to keep in mind. Yeah, so I try not to let them um, get away with like obnoxious behavior like that. Yeah, so I do, you know, I do ask and demand that they, um, that they listen, um, when I need them to, basically. Good job, guys. Okay, see, this is kind of where I start to lose the trail, because it, I mean, sort of here, but it's like, oh, I don't know. I'll just keep going. The dogs don't care if there's a trail or not. <laughs> they just kind of bodoze their way through bushes. But we are going to head to the river so that they can take a drink. Um, and we do have a water station that I've set up at a picnic table for them. Oh, and this video is getting super long, so I'm just going to turn it off and Maybe start another video in a little bit. I like to enjoy my walk too. <laughs> and if I ramble on about stuff you're not interested in, I like to say this, every phone is equipped with a mute button. <coughs> Hello, buddy. Yeah, you're fine, you're fine. Uh-uh. Doctor? Oh, who's this? Who is this? I know you. <laughs> I know. Oh, this must be the leash team. That's that's Maggie. She walks with the leash team. And that guy must walk with the leash team as well. Oh, look how good they are. They're just like, oh, gotta go. Penny, you're with us. Good girl. Good girl, Roxy. You're with us too. Good girl. Good job, sweetie. Good girl. Oh, Maggie. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. I'll give you a treat and then you gotta go. Mags, do you want a treat? Okay, okay. Bye, Maggie. Bye, Maggie. Bye, Mags. Nope, you gotta go, Maggie. Go, Maggie. Go, you gotta go. Go, buddy. Maggie, go. Nope, nope. I'm not giving you anything else. Penny, you're with us. Good girl. Good. Ah, uh, no. You're not with us. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, I might have to walk her back. I'll see. Okay, bud. Come on. Go, go, go. Go, go, Maggie. Go, go, Maggie. Go. Yeah, my bad. I probably shouldn't have given her that treat. She's like, oh, Gabby's got roast beef. I guess I'll stick with this group. <laughs> Good job, guys.